But the Bible said, God said in the creation, you shall rule over you. Not to be a boss, but to be a helpmate part of you. She's sweet and kind and tender. You should lead her around sweetly because she's part of you. You go to mistreat her, then you're mistreating yourself. And a man mentally right won't do that. You have a, you're worrying about something. You're bothered, upset. And it's, it's nervous for one thing. You're real nervous, aren't you? Kind of a mental nervousness kind of causing you to all have all kinds of funny feelings and so forth. Isn't that true? And that mainly works on you in the afternoon, long late even when you get a little tired and run down. And you, that has caused the trouble. You've got a stomach trouble, you can't eat by it. The only thing, sir, you think the, you cross bridges before you get to them, taking other things up on your heart, and you're always planning something that never happened. It's only mentally nervous, the mental nervousness. That is right. You've been that way for years. But Jesus Christ is sure to take it off of you. So just polishing and joining church and, and reading a whole lot and knowing a lot of books and authors and so forth doesn't mean that you're converted. Because you have an intellectual mind that makes you have a mental conception that there is a God somewhere, still you're not a Christian yet. Until actually you become personal in contact with Christ that changes your heart and nature. Now, there is two elements, just for a few moments on this subject, there's two elements that make up the human being, and one of them is your mind, and the other is your soul, and the mind is your mental thinking, your intellectual, and your soul is the part of God that's in you. They've joined church. Some of them has come in because of some mental uh, emotion. Others has come in because of an intellectual conception of the word. They heard it and they believe it in their head. But never has it ever went into the heart to produce that real love. And the biggest part of our faith is mental faith. Yeah. By hearing the word, it brings us to a mental rec recognition of God. But if this coming from above, yeah. oh brother, if it ever strikes this, there is a godly spiritual faith. Amen. Then, what does that faith do? That faith recognizes only the Word. No matter what anything else says, it only recognizes the Word because in the beginning was the Word and the Word is with God and the Word was God. And the Word is still God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And when the Word itself is pouring into our faith, our mental faith becomes a spiritual revelation.
the, the mental attitude you take towards it will bring... Now, the mind won't do it. But if you give that attitude towards something you got life in it, then that life comes down and does it. Not your mental attitude. That only brings you in the presence of Him. That's what you do. 